Our next stop is along Interstate 80, more of Nebraska, Gothenburg, Nebraska, which is only about an hour from our last stop, uh, which we love those kind of travel days. Yep. And we're going to be staying at a city park called Lafayette Park. So we'll bring you along. Hey y'all, welcome back. I'm Stacy. I'm Tom and we're RV Texas y'all. We are native Texans and full-time RVers who are all about exploring the great state of Texas and beyond one campground at a time. We're on a mission to experience life, not just live it, and we're bringing you along for the fun. In 2018, we sold our house, our business, and got rid of most everything we owned to hit the road and see America. Our home is a 33-foot RV named Freedom. We installed an extreme solar and lithium setup so now we can just about live anywhere with our dog Star and our cat Astro. Every day is a new adventure, so join us as we RV America, y'all. Welcome to Gothenburg, Nebraska. And the whole thing that brought us here is this building right behind me. This is an original Pony Express station. It started out in 1854 as a fur trading post, and a trading post, I guess, in general, a few miles west of here. Then it became a Pony Express station. It sat right on the Platte River, right on the Oregon Trail, and it was a place where the guys on the Pony Express would change horses. They would change horses every eight to 10 miles. They would change riders every 80 to 100 miles in something called a home station. This was one of the stations where they would change horses. This is the original building. It used to be two-story, uh, but when they moved it over here, part of it wasn't salvageable, but what is here is absolutely fascinating. It is free to come in and visit. You gotta check it out when you're in Gothenburg. Okay, now right across the street from the Pony Express Museum is the Gothenburg Historical Museum. It's a free museum as well, just it goes on donations. And it's really neat. It's a little two-story building here and it's got a lot of the history of Gothenburg. And uh, of course it includes some of the Pony Express stuff too, because that's a big part of Gothenburg. But really a neat deal. We got a, a great tour. Um, yeah, well worth a stop. I mean, these small community museums, I mean, when they're open, go in, see it. You're gonna, you're gonna find some interesting things. And then across the street from the historical museum in the same park that the Pony Express Museum sits in, you'll find Amon Park, and that is where they've got, I don't even know how, how many different varieties of trees planted, and each one has a marker that tells you what it is. So it's a beautiful walk, and you can learn about uh, the local foliage. Pretty cool. Well, here in Gothenburg, we stop for a little early dinner and at the Nebraska Bar and Grill here. And this place is really unique. It looks brand new. We got here early, so we beat the crowd. And Stacy and I both got the open face roast beef sandwich with mashed potatoes. Woo! It was good and I, I, I had to top it off with some, some peach pie with ice cream. <clears throat> yeah, it was good. And just for the record, we also had the salad bar. Oh yeah, we did have the salad bar. We had to have a little bit of vegetables in there. <laughs> Woo, nice. All right, that's good. <laughs> Another breezy Nebraska morning here in Gothenburg and <laughs> we're about to hit the road and continue our travels west on Interstate 80. Our next stop is Okalala, 
uh, for a one-nighter. We're going to bring you along for that at the Ogallala KOA, one of two Ogallala KOAs right off of Interstate 80, which is super interesting. But I wanted to tell you a little bit more about our stop here in Gothenburg before we get to that. First of all, I want to give a shout out to Lisa from Lisa's Kitchen, Chinese restaurant here in town. It is a one-woman show. I've never seen anything like it. Lisa is the hostess. She's the waitress, she's the cook, she's the busboy, she's the cashier, and she is super friendly and a heck of a good chef as well. So check her out when you're in town at Lisa's Kitchen. This park is Lafayette Park. Uh, it is a city park here in Gothenburg, and it is where we stayed for the two nights during our stay here. It was awesome to have the disc golf and the walking path right across the uh, little canal here through the covered bridge. This is site number 23. It is a pull through uh, 50 amp electric and water site. And uh, yeah, it's been really nice, easy to get in and out of, very quiet. Interesting point about Lafayette Park though. We learned this when we went to the History Museum in town. This actually started as the Gothenburg Tourist Park in 1918. It was one of the many tourist parks slash what we would call now RV park or campground uh, along the historic Lincoln Highway, which runs just a little bit from here. So that is super interesting. It's now owned by the city of Gothenburg and called Lafayette Park and Campground. It's been very quiet. They do have a dump station. It looks a little bit small. So we are going to, we're going to a full hookup site in Ogallala. So we're gonna just Take, but take care of that business when we get there. So let's get on the road to Ogallala. Please pardon the wind, it is crazy right now. Right after we got to Ogallala and we're at the KOA here in town, well there's two, but we're at one of them. But the, I go to Yelp to, to look at, find a place to eat. We had just gotten here. And there was a, there's a Mexican food restaurant literally right outside the KOA. And that's where we were gonna go. But I found uh, this place that's just across the highway. It's Margarita's because somebody had just left a Yelp review five minutes before I looked at it, five stars. Everything was five stars. I got to tell you guys, I'm thinking I'm in Texas with this Mexican food and as hot as it is today, it kind of feels like Texas, but it was phenomenal. I mean, literally phenomenal. So strongly recommend this if you're in, ever in Ogallala. The oldest cemetery in Ogallala, Nebraska is Boot Hill. And while there are no good records indicating exactly how many people ended their trail here, it could go back to the 1850s pioneer trails that came through here. For sure by the 1860s through the 1880s when this was a rough and tough cow town, a lot of the cowboys might have gotten themselves into trouble and ended up here with their boots on hence the name Boot Hill. Now today, Boot Hill is a walk through history, but many of the folks who were originally buried here have been moved beginning in 1913 to a new cemetery. Now, you might recognize that bronze sculpture. That is the trail boss, and there is an exact duplicate of that statue in Dallas, Texas. Welcome to our campsite here in Ogallala, Nebraska. This is the Ogallala I-80 KOA, and this is site number 43. This is a full hookup, 30 and 50 amp, a long pull through site. We fit with room to spare. <laughs> this has been a great stop right off of Interstate 80. You might be able to hear it from where we're standing, but we couldn't hear it inside the rig. Important thing to note here in Ogallala and something I've never seen before, here at the exit to get to the Ogallala I-80 KOA, there's actually another KOA also right down the road, like literally right over there. 
So if you're gonna book one of these KOAs here in Ogallala, make sure you know which one you're selecting because they use the same exit off the interstate. So that might be a little confusing. I've never seen two that close together before. This has been a really nice park. We only stayed one night. I wish we had actually stayed at least a couple of nights because there's a lot more to do in Ogallala than we expected. And I'll talk about that in a second. But I also want to show you, this is something unique. The site next to us, they have, I think, three sites like this that not only have your patio, they have several sites that have these nice patios with fire pits and everything. But a few of them also have dog pens. So your furries can just hang out outside with you within a secure area right here in your campsite. I've never seen that before. So that is really neat. The park also has two other dog parks here. One of them is AstroTurf, the other one is Grass. Really nice people. Uh, and like I said, this has been a really nice base camp for exploring Ogallala. There are several uh, truck stops actually right here as well at this exit. Now let's talk a little bit about Ogallala and why we want to come back. <laughs> this is actually, I had no idea before we got here, the end of the Texas Trail. So if you have heard the stories of the Longhorn Drives that basically saved Texas financially back in the 1800s, some of them went to Kansas City, but then once the farmers started blocking off their lands, it was harder to drive cattle to Kansas City. So Ogallala became the end of the Texas Trail, Ogallala, Nebraska. So for years, those Longhorns that were leaving Texas were being herded up here to get on rail cars to head east. So fascinating, I had no idea. While we were here, we obviously went to Boot Hill. We also went to the mansion on the hill, which is a free museum. It's an 1880s, I believe, grand mansion uh, back in the day here in Ogallala, run by the Historical Society. And we went to, we found out about a show after we got here, which was fantastic. It was in Front Street, uh, the Crystal Palace, actually. They have a restaurant over there. They have a free museum, uh, so another free museum in town. And in the evenings during the summer, the high school and college students put on a show. And so we went to that show. It was fantastic. It was a lot of fun. Highly recommend it. Well, I said howdy, folks. Howdy. Now, back in 1800s, Ogallala was a booming cowboy town. Them cattle be pushed up the Texas Trail right here to Ogallala, then ship back east on the rail. Now, them cowboys was always making trouble with their drinking and their gambling and their fighting. Ogallala soon earned its reputation as a town too tough for Texas. <laughs> So we hope you've enjoyed this visit to Gothenburg, Nebraska and Ogallala, Nebraska. Look forward to exploring this area more in the future, but for now, we're back on the road and headed to Gehring, Nebraska, where we're gonna spend the 4th of July weekend and see some, I think, amazing sights. So make sure you're subscribed so you'll be along for more fun. And until next time, y'all, safe travels and happy camping. Bye.